Speaking of frustrating, something you moms know well about. In fact, many parents scrambling to find over-the-counter medicine but seeing empty shelves instead, looking for fever and pain reducers such as liquid acetaminophen and ibuprofen. News 12's Jen Selig live at New Island Pharmacy in Deer Park, and she spoke with some frustrated parents, right, trying to find those medicines. Yeah, Doug, it's a parent's worst nightmare, not being able to get that medication to treat their children. And it's been extremely hard for these drug manufacturers to keep up with the high demand of over-the-counter medication. So now parents, they're driving across Long Island, stopping at all these different pharmacies, hoping to get lucky. I was asking the same question, what's going on, but it seems like it's a national ep um, epidemic. Kurt Hector traveled to four different pharmacies today, searching for specific medication for his daughter. This was the only pharmacy that had the medication for her. She has a coughing issue right now with the cold and everything else. Kurt was lucky to find the drug at New Island Pharmacy in Deer Park. But here also, there are still empty spots on these shelves. It's nearly impossible to pick up over-the-counter drugs like Tylenol, ibuprofen, or even cough syrup and cough drops. It's, it's concerning. Pharmacist Nadim Mahan says half of his job is checking to see if he has these drugs that parents are desperately looking for. One third of my phone calls was just people asking me whether I have Tylenol, whether I have Tamiflu, whether I have... Uh, Motrin. The supply of these over-the-counter drugs isn't meeting the spike demand. We're seeing over 100 kids a day. On Monday, we saw over 130 kids uh, coming through with, with this combination of respiratory you know, illnesses. This season alone, pediatrician John Zazzo has seen a significant uptick in respiratory infections. Between the flu, RSV, and coronavirus, he says more kids are getting sick because their immune systems are not revved up yet since the beginning of the COVID pandemic. We were masking for the two years. What that ends up doing over time is it downregulates your immune system. So what happens is now that we remove the mask that, you know, the, the most of the quarantine is over, your immune system has not been exposed to different infections over time, so you're more susceptible. And Dr. Zazzo also says that adult meds should not be used as an alternative, and it's never too late to get that flu shot. And Doug, it's not just over-the-counter medications that we're seeing a shortage in, also prescription drugs, some of them like amoxicillin, so another headache for parents. And now the FDA is working with pharmaceutical companies to fix all of these drug shortages. Doug? Very frustrating. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, that amoxicillin, that was a big deal a while back. So have you had a hard time finding children's medicine in your local pharmacies? Scan the QR code on your screen right now to vote in tonight's News 12 poll.